Hi guys, welcome to my channel Gain Base Intelligence. In this video, I will show you how to create reset all slicer button in Power BI using bookmarks. Before we head over to my laptop, show your support, like, share and subscribe to my channel. I have simple sales overview report on my screen where I have created different slicers for user so that he can apply multiple filters to slice and dice this report. User can go to these slicers and make selection as per his choice and review the actual data. Once user is done with his review, he would like to go back to the actual state of this report where filters will not be applied to any of these slicers. For that, user will have to go to each and every slicer and click on this clear selection button. This is going to be a repetitive activity for user and he will have to perform this activity on each and every slicer. To avoid this repetitive activity, we can create a button. For that, let's go to insert tab, click on button and drag a blank button. Place this button at appropriate place. Let's go to properties of this button. You can give name to this button, enable button text property and here you can type the name. Once we create a button, let's go to view tab and click on bookmarks. This will open bookmarks pane. Before you click on add bookmark, make sure you don't have any filters applied to these slicers. That means these slicers should be cleared first. Then click on add button. This will add new bookmark. Right click here. Click on rename to give nice name to this bookmark. Clear all. And press enter. Now you can close this bookmark pane. Select this button. Go to properties. Enable action. Go to down arrow and under type select bookmark and under bookmark select the name of the bookmarks which you just created let me tell you what does bookmark do it records the state of data and visuals so when they are created it takes a snap of data and visuals and when they are triggered it returns the state which it has recorded in this example we created a bookmark which has recorded a state of all the slicers, data and these visuals where filters are not applied. So when we click on any of these slicers and apply any filter, let's go to supervisor and apply some filters. And when we click on this button to clear the filters applied on the slicers, it will return the state which it has recorded. 